Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this eyeshadow look. This is look number 9 in my 10 looks using one palette series, highlighting the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, just keep watching. Okay guys, so today I'm doing look number 9. We are almost at the end of this series, which is super awesome, but I have my brows on. I just use my usual stuff. And I'm just going to prime up my eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm trying to pre-film right now. I'm just going to take a little bit of powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And set, set that concealer. Okay, so I'm going to try to figure out a look that I haven't done. I feel like I need to go check. Okay, I think... I think I know where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics 101 brush and I'm gonna pick up Dawn and lay that down above the crease. Then I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild fluffy brush. This is from their holiday collection last year, their holiday brush set. And I'm picking up Roxy, and every time I pick up a shade, I make sure to really tap it off because there's so much kickback. I'm gonna put that right in the crease. I really like this color, Roxy. I think it is beautiful. Now the lighter colors in this palette are a lot easier to work with. It's those deeper ones that they just give me issues every time. So I do spend a lot more time blending than I normally do because this palette is definitely harder to work with. See, I think that looks really nice and blended really nicely. It's just once you dip into those deeper shades, oh, do they give you a run for your money. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go like deep brown. I'm thinking I'm gonna pick up fudge, put that on the outer corner and drag that into the V, into the crease a little bit. I'm picking up this Morphe M433 and taking fudge. I'm just gonna try to slowly build that and blend that and just try to be a little more careful. See if I can get that color to not be patchy. Taking that second brush, I'm just gonna try to blend that. Like that. It does look a little patchy, but that also could just be the texture on my eye. Cause looking in the mirror, it doesn't look as patchy as it looks on my viewfinder right here because I keep going back over it and it doesn't look like it's getting better on the on my viewfinder but I can't really see it that much in person with these darker shades it's really just very lightly going in very lightly blending building the color and trying to blend that out but these definitely are are difficult to work with the deeper shades are the lighter shades are beautiful and I feel like they're easy to blend I'm gonna pick up a little more of Roxy on that second brush and just bring that back into the crease we lost a lot of that nice pink color blending I really like that shade of Roxy that that must that's probably my favorite shade in the whole palette what a weird eye I look. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. I hate that there's only three shimmers in this palette. I definitely wish that there was more. So I am going to take a little packing brush. This is from Wish. It has no name or anything. It's, And I'm going to pick up Cube and I'm going to spray that with a setting spray. <laughs> pick a little bit of electric up and go over 
the top of that because it's showing up way more pinky purple than I'm wanting. Yeah, it makes it hard because you only have three choices for a shimmer shade on your lid. I like those two mixed though. I think that looks pretty. And then just picking up that brush, the Morphe M433. I'm just gonna go over the edges, blending that. I didn't pick up any extra product. This is just what is left. That looks pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the other, the same thing to the other eye. First going in with Cube and then going over the top of that with Electric. Okay, and that is what it's looking like. You can see it looks a little patchy right here. Just these deeper colors, oh my goodness. I like Cube and Electric mixed. I really like that color. I was going for a more toned down eye look, it's as toned down as I could get it with this palette. But I really like, I like how it turned out, I do. I think I am going to pop on some liner and lashes. I'm going to film another video and I will be back to finish up the rest of my eyes. Okay guys, so I just put on the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna finish up the eyes really quick. I'm gonna take a definer brush. I think I'm gonna go in with fudge and put that right next to the lower lash line, right next to the waterline. And just taking a little, this is the, just a little smudger brush. This is the crown, what is this? Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia Detail Brush. And I'm gonna take Roxy and smoke out that brown. Then taking my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude, put that on the waterline. See, it looks patchy right there. It's so annoying. I'm gonna pop on some mascara on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the highlighter that I used I almost dug my nail right into that on the face, which is the ColourPop Gimme More palette. I think I wanna go more pinky with the highlight. So I'm gonna go in with this middle shade right here, which looks pinky, and I'll pop that right on the inner corner. Ooh, those are pretty inner corner highlights. Look at, look at how much better it looks with an inner corner highlight. I feel like it just brings the whole look together. And with that same highlight, just going right under the arch of my brow. I feel like I did my makeup so fast today that I feel like I'm forgetting something. Then I'm just going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. This is look number nine in my 10 looks using one palette series, highlighting the subculture palette. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe. I post three videos every single week. I will link this chatty get ready with me down below if it's up already. If it's not, it'll be coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Getting over him. I got no rules, I count him.